Hey everybody. Yeah, it's uh, it's early evening, uh, Thursday evening. I'm I'm gonna do a one just appeared on our shelves. Um, picked picked it up yesterday. Just appeared yesterday. It's a new one from Sierra Nevada. It's gonna be their Narwhal Imperial Stout. I think this is a new. Uh, a new issue from uh, from uh, Sierra Nevada. I've never heard about it before. Um, comes in at 10.2 percent ABV, 60 IBUs. Um, from the website, it says Narwhal Imperial Stout is inspired by the mysterious creature that thrives in deepest fathoms of the frigid Arctic Ocean, featuring incredible depth of malt flavor, rich with notes of espresso, baker's cocoa roasted grain, and a light hint of smoke. Narwhal is a massive, malt-forward monster. Aggressive, but re refined with a velvety smooth body and decadent fin finish. Narwhal will age in the bottle for years to come. Um, it should. Uh, so, And a little bit more, it says Narwhal Imperial Stout is the latest beer in Sierra Nevada's High Altitude series. This malt forward monster is bold with notes of baker's cocoa, molasses, dark roasted coffee. It's massive imperial, this massive imperial stout is incredibly complex, rich and intense, and will develop in the bottle for years to come. I think they already said that. Um, they say hops, magnum and challenger, malts, two row pale, chocolate honey, carafa, and roasted barley. Like I said, 10.2% ABV, 60 IBUs, so. Let's get this in the glass. I'm looking forward to this. It's always nice when Sierra Nevada or anybody comes out with a new beer, so let's see what we have. Don't imagine I'm going to have much of a head in this 10.2%. Uh, well, I have a little bit. That's everything in the bottle. Just filled it perfectly. It looks like a Looks like a stout should look. Uh, there's nothing I can see through that. Got a got a pinky of a really nice um, cocoa co colored head. Uh, really, really creamy looking. So let me get a nose on this. Hmm. Got a little foam on my nose. Oh well. Okay, you got some roasted malts up there. It's uh, Surprisingly light smelling for uh, for an imperial stout. For more, at least more light smelling than not what I was expecting. Uh, got that uh, semi-sweet chocolate aroma in there. Some slight coffee notes. Um, really faint licorice notes. A little bit of the uh, that charred smell, but. Like I said, it's faint, but um, smells like a good imperial style should smell, so let's give it a taste. This is fresh from the fridge, so when I get about halfway done here, I'll, as I usually do, finish, let it warm up a bit, and then come back, so we get a taste on it. Taste, taste is a lot, lot, uh, a lot more than what you you would expect from that aroma, that's for sure. Got those most roasted malts, some slightly bitter chocolate, coffee up there. Got a slightly charred finish on it. Just a 10.2 percent. Just got a light alcohol burn right on the finish. Some dark chocolate. Um, Little burnt molasses, toffee, roasted malts, um, slight pininess. Um, I'm sure that's from the from the hops. Just a slight piney bitterness to it, but um, very balanced. But like like they said in their their description of it, it's definitely malt forward. It's almost a slight coffee sweetness there. Some there's a hint of some dark fruits, maybe some uh, some raisins, but it finishes pretty dry, actually, actually nicely dry for uh, for an imperial stout. 
just a little bit of a um, little bit of cocoa sweetness just kind of lingering there on the back of the palate it's um nice smooth drinking beer it's um surprisingly for a stout it's a little crisp but it's it's also smooth um, it's medium medium to medium full-bodied beer like I said got a dry finish um, decent taste and style not anything outstanding so far but um, let me sit let this warm up come back after a while with the final thoughts and great okay I'm back it's been half an hour so I've been sipping on this this is a nice enjoyable uh, Imperial Stout, um, nothing outstanding so far, um, as it's warmed up I noticed the, uh, the chocolate has come out a little more on the nose, uh, rather than the roasted malts, which were mostly prevalent, uh, when I first, when I first opened it, um, the, the aroma's got a little stronger as it's warmed up, but it's still fairly, fairly mild for uh, what I expect for a Russian Imperial Stout. Uh, the taste has got, a, there's a little more bitterness in there. It's still fairly sweet, but there's some, uh, there's some good uh, roasted malt bitterness, some uh, slightly uh, bitter chocolate uh, bitterness in there some slightly uh, like black coffee bitterness in there but there's also a, a sweet coffee in there and there's also the cocoa so there's a nice nice blend of uh, sweetness and bitterness um, this sort of uh, levels out and makes it sort of sort of neutral it is sweet but it's definitely not cloying um, decent decent Russian Imperial Stout um, Got a lot of flavor to it. Um, it's not too sweet, not too bitter. It's uh, it's an enjoyable beer. Is it? Uh, I one thing about I I do still notice a little bit of that alcohol heat, but it's uh, <clears throat> nothing like that uh, Goose Island Bourbon County Stout or well that was fifteen percent or the uh, the Bell's Expedition when it was fresh at ten point five, which isn't much more than this was. A lot hotter than this. This is not. This is not really a hot beer. This is already well. Uh, the the alcohol is well masked in this. I mean, this could be a dangerous beer. This, I I could I could have easily drank this whole thing down by now. Um, easy drinking beer, but uh, not going to do it at ten point two percent. I'm still going to sip and savor a little bit, but uh, so the at least my opinion on the. Sierra Nevada Narwhal, Imperial Stout, I guess it's just new this year. Um, I'm going to give it a good a good solid 8.5 out of 10. It's uh, decent, drinkable, uh, enjoyable Imperial Stout. Uh, it's not up there in the, uh, in the upper echelon of Imperial Stouts I've had or ones I've heard about, but... Um, Still darn good, uh, darn good Imperial Stout. So, till next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.